Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm pissed. Like, I'm pissed. And I'm sorry for the language, but I'm actually mad. So, I actually recorded this video and had, like, actually, like, the footage and stuff. But I accidentally deleted it when I was trying to, um, delete the other videos and stuff. Like, that I had planned before. And I didn't realize I accidentally deleted this video. And now, I really can't do anything about it. Because, you know, you can't really restore deleted videos. But I guess I'll just talk about it and stuff. Because literally this carries on to the other epi um, the other videos. I almost said episodes. So, I had to make this video just so the other ones make sense. Anyways, I'm so glad I posted the tribute video. Because it contains some of the footage of that video. So... Thank God for past me, you know, for doing that. But, um, yeah, anyways, this is where the story begins. Alright, so how this story starts is that, um, basically Bia came to my house and stuff. And I was like, oh, we're just doing that typical roleplay thing that we have done twice now. But she literally comes in my house, does not say anything high or anything. So that was a bit weird, but I didn't think of it too much. And she just basically came into my house and did all this stuff. Alright, so she goes to my door and knocks on it. And then she starts playing games. Like, games. Two red flags here. She knocked on my door and went straight into my room. No one's supposed to be in there anyways. No player at all. Two, she went straight for my laptop, which I don't know why she needed to. She literally has her own room because I made a room for her. But, yeah, and she guess what? She still didn't say anything, so this was definitely weird. Like I said, I didn't think of it too much. I didn't really care if she was on my computer, but it was definitely weird. Then she starts doing this weird thing where she went into my backyard, and she finally says something for the first time during the session. She said hi. All right. And then over in this scene, uh, she uh, I got her a bike and stuff. And I asked her to, you know, use it and stuff, but but she wasn't able to. And right here, she asked me to buy a car, and I say I don't have enough. Like, she wants me to buy an actual car. A Bloxburg car. And here we are. Here she is trying to uh, persuade me to buy her this car. Which is 18k, by the way. By the way, note that I only had 21k at this time. That's like literally almost all my money. And as you can see, I, can, I mentioned it right there. I have 21K. She said pink because she wants that color. And basically what she does is that she ran away because I refused to buy her a blocks per car because it's expensive. And I asked her, what are you doing? And this is what she says next. She said, go. She was that pissed at me because I didn't buy her a car. And basically this message says everything about the whole video. I said, and I quote, are you mad that I didn't get you a car? You know how expensive it is, especially when my bills are high. But you know what? She didn't care. She was a spoiled brat. She was acting like a spoiled brat and everything. And she kept uh, saying that um, she never owned a car before, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't disregard as expensive. And then here she is trying to run away again when I try to convince her to go back in. But yeah, those were all the scenes. Basically, you kind of really got the idea there. She wanted a car. I said it was like, too expensive and stuff. And by the way, Bloxburg cars do raise your bills a lot. So I wasn't about to have two cars. And I was going to give her Koner too because one reason was because I had trust issues. Which explains why uh, she wasn't able to ride a bike or the things that I got her there. The tiny car. Because she doesn't have Koner. But... Yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to give her co-owner, I guess. Because, um, I just didn't... I don't trust anybody with co-owner, alright? Anybody at all. Even if I... Like, even, um... People I've been friends with longer, I don't trust them to, for co-owner. You know? So that's, you know, that's basically... What, um, I did there. I refused to give her co-owner. And then she gets even more mad. She starts crying. She starts running away again. People on the server were even wondering what was happening and stuff. At first, I thought she was role-playing and everything. But I was like, no, she isn't role-playing. She's genuinely sad and angry at me. She even said bad dad in the server. And I'm like, I'm a bad dad? First off, 
My name was William, not not Dad. Okay. Second of all, I'm the one who should be pissed here, not you, Bia. Like Bia made me so mad in that video. She was a spo she was acting like a spoiled brat. I was like, this is not the person I played with like a, a while ago. A few days ago was the time at, when I was recording that. She has definitely changed, and I was like, she's acting like a freaking spoiled teenager. I should know. I should know what it's like to be a teenager. I am one. And I was like, she's acting like me, but times 100. And I was really annoyed and stuff. I even had to con uh, contact Eva. You guys already know her from the last video. I told Eva to talk to Bia because they're close in real life. And stuff, and I want, I wanted Eva to tell Bia that the reason why I don't want to buy a car and stuff. I was like, if anyone could tell it to her, it would be the people closest to her, and that's what Eva did. Thankfully, if you're watching this, Eva, thank you. But um, yeah, and it really ticked me off that she decided to do that. But yeah, obviously this was two months ago. I'm way over it. But obviously watching the footage and stuff. It still kind of makes me mad every time I watch it. And, yeah. Like, you gotta understand. Things are expensive. They aren't cheap, alright? Even if it's in the game and stuff. I know you can easily earn money by working, but I had 21k. The car she wanted was 18k. Alright? I want to end up with 3,000, which was the amount of money I needed to pay for my bills during that time. So, literally, that was basically... Nearly about all my money just gone there and stuff. And then the 3000 would be left. And I wasn't going to have that. I'm not going to spend money on a Bloxburg car for another player. I don't even do that with my older friends who I met before Bia. I don't even buy, I mean, I don't even buy two cars myself. Well, now I do, but that's Blockbook. But I don't buy like two cash cars myself at least not anymore before i used to but then i was like oh wait this is making my bill expensive i probably shouldn't do that and that's why i only go with one car i mean it's kind of makes sense right like does it look like bia will be with that car for a long long time at least for me i thought no so i was like it's pointless to buy a car for a nerd player because it's affecting my plot my money my bills in the game it was just pointless. Like, I wasn't going to spoil everything. Yeah, you know, I wasn't going to give her everything. I was going to give her... Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she asked me to build her uh, a house for her in my own plot. I mean, if she wanted me to buy her a car that is owned on my plot, I wouldn't be surprised if she wanted to live in my plot as well and not have her own stuff. I even asked her, hey, just work it on your... Just work on your own and buy yourself a car. Why do I need to do it? And, but she doesn't care. She just she just keeps saying bad dad and stuff. Starts crying, putting crying emojis, angry emojis. And starts saying I'm a bad dad. Keeps running away and stuff. And I think she even asked other players to adopt her because her dad was bad. I was like, really? I couldn't tell if she was role playing or not. Either way, the feelings that was, you know, the feelings that I had in that time, they were genuine. They weren't role play feelings like, oh, I'm so mad, girl, or I'm so sad. No, they were actually me being mad. And I'm pretty sure for Bia, that was her actually being sad. It wasn't role play. I don't know what was going on at that time. I just assumed everything was a role play. So I was like, this is kind of a bit, you know, out of hand, don't you think, Bia? But you know what? She doesn't care. She just, she doesn't even call me by my name. She called me dad. Even when I tried to talk to her as a friend, not in role play mode, but as like an individual, as my actual self. But she doesn't care. She didn't really uh, understood what I was trying to say or where I was coming from. She just wants a car and she calls me a bad dad for not for a reasonable for a reasonable reason as to why I, I shouldn't do it. And because of that she ran away 
and I left the game. And by the way, you know how come I said that I didn't, I couldn't tell if she was roleplay or not? I just took it as a roleplay. So for the next few videos, Blocks for videos, you can kind of sense that I was just going along with what was happening and stuff. So, yeah. You will, you will, you will see what happens after uh, that incident. But yeah, basically, that made me pissed. And I'm sorry I don't have footage because I accidentally deleted it because my dumb self deleted it on accident. But at least you got somewhat of, you know, what was going on, you know? And yeah, that, that was that. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. But I would note that this happened two months ago, all right? That didn't happen recently. So yeah, but, so yeah, I'm already way over it, but obviously I had to put it in perspective as if it was happening right now.